Welcome back here on your Friday evening. If you're heading out to those high school football games, it is going to be very chilly. Our game of the week for what is nearly the end of the season, Omaha North coming in to take on Grand Island. And temps in the mid-40s for much of the game. The wind's not exactly calming down all that much. We might even have a few sprinkles and showers out there. It's, it's football weather, everybody. The weekend looking pretty chilly. Uh, tomorrow's still going to be kind of windy and cool. But as we head into early next week, we should start to see some warmer temps moving in. Then the next system will come in on Wednesday. Now that one looks pretty weak and will move through quickly, but it'll knock our highs back down, give us a little bit of a chance of moisture. All right, the annular eclipse tomorrow starts around 1020, ends around 112 here in central Nebraska. For us, it would be around 65% of the sun would be eclipsed or obscured. Now keep in mind, safety glasses are needed. You don't just go out and stare at it, uh, but it may not matter because cloud cover looks to be a big issue for many of us. I'm not saying we won't get some glimpse of it here and there, but for a lot of us, especially central to eastern areas, it's going to be pretty tough to see because the cloud cover does look to hold on. But as I mentioned early next week, we're going to mix in some really nice fall days. Right now, Tuesday looks incredible. We're going to have some weak upper level ridging that comes in. It's going to kind of help boost our temps a little bit. But then here comes that next system I was just talking about. Again, pretty quick mover. We'll dive through the region, a chance of showers and storms and knocks our high temps down just a bit. Wind gusts are still 35 to 45 across the region. Gust of 46 in Hastings, 44 in Smith Center, 40 in Lincoln and North Platte. This after we saw wind gusts today of around 55 to 60 in many areas. It's been incredibly windy and just making it feel even cooler than it is. Temps right now only 43 up in O'Neill, 48 in North Platte, 45 Broken Bow and Ord. We do have some 50s in the southeast, but it's just going to be a little bit of a chilly stretch of weather. Those winds tonight not letting up all that much, and there's going to be at least the potential of some showers here and there, some sprinkles. Not expecting a lot of rainfall over the next 24 hours, but just realize that you, you may run into a quick passing shower or some sprinkles as long as we've got those low clouds in place. 42 expected for the low tonight. And with those winds, yeah, it's going to feel much colder and only a high of around 49 tomorrow. Still going to be talking wind gusts of 25 to 30 for much of the day. Then they finally start to relax tomorrow night as we drop down to 38 for the low. Could see some low 30s out west tonight. 31 in Ogallala, 32 in Imperial. Most of us should be in the low 40s. And then highs tomorrow, we're going to struggle. You know, right about 50 degrees in many areas. 52 in Lincoln, 50 in Lexington, 49 in Ord. Early next week, though, I think looks pretty good. Monday at 61, 72 Tuesday will be fantastic. And then we just kind of dip down into the mid-60s there for the end of the week, which... You know, the average high now is already down to 67. That doesn't take long. So all of a sudden here we sit and it's like, oh, we're in the mid-60s. Wait, that's normal for this time of year. Okay. Right. Yeah. Thank you, Tim. Yep.